Hey friends, it's a balmy 77 degrees here in Idaho. Sorry, it's not wherever you are. Um, yeah, that's what my car says anyway, so I guess I can trust it. Oh, I can record indefinitely. I got my SD card, finally. So it doesn't even matter how much, it doesn't even tell me how much time I have. I could just record for hours, but I won't. That's good. Okay, goal for July for the family, it's a family goal, is to clean up the living room every night before bedtime. Got this idea from Mel from The Love of Sorted, who I love very much. Um, she, I don't know if she's coined the phrase or she just heard it somewhere and she doesn't even know, uh, to set the room to zero. So that just means not any deep cleaning or anything, it's just pick up all the clutter and just get it nice, you know, kind of company ready as we used to say in the 90s. I don't know if we used to say that. Anyway, I think she might have gotten it from um, the Hunger Games because they had Beauty Base Zero. Girls remember that? I don't know if boys watch that show. Okay, anyway, so there's that. So that's our goal for July is to set the living room to zero. And it'll take a little bit of work the first time because, you know, Eli takes the cushions off the couch every day. So there's that. And then there's always like, I don't know, crap strewn everywhere. I just can't keep on top of it with my nagging. So I don't want to be a nagging mom. Okay, so there's that. Okay, more big news. I'm trying to keep the glare on my glasses to a minimum. More big news. I am going to apply for a teaching position at our high school. I am not a certified teacher, but I'm hoping they will work with me to get certified. I have a degree in Ag Economics from the University of Idaho <laughs> that I got in 1999, and uh, they are in need of a business ed teacher because their current business ed teacher is going to become the school counselor. So good for him and hopefully good for me. But I've heard that they have two other applicants, so we'll see. Um, and I've heard that I need to hurry up and get my materials in. It was a pain in the neck to get all these materials rounded up. Okay, you've got a resume, you've got the application, you've got um, an essay of 250 words describing your philosophy of education. I don't have a philosophy of education. I did take about well, I was looking at my transcripts, which you have to turn in your transcripts. I had about 19 credits of education classes my senior year. I thought I took other classes, but I guess I was just there. And so I just took them because I needed a few more credits to graduate, but I didn't need anything in my major courses to graduate. So apparently I was just like there along for the ride and took those education classes and I got a 4.0 that semester. I got a 4.0! For those of you who don't know that, that's all A's. <laughs> Anyway, so that was cool because education classes are a lot easier than economics and accounting classes, which I had to take for my major. Sorry, education majors. It's not as hard as real stuff. Okay, so there's that. So hopefully they'll give me an interview. I, I am excited about this. I half want this job. I've got a big list of pros and cons. The pros are money, because <laughs> we don't have any money. This, the farming is not doing well this year and I really don't think it's gonna help. It's like a big rocking boat farming and it rocks so hard eventually it's gonna throw some people out of the boat and I don't want to get thrown out of the boat I don't want everything that we worked so hard for for 20 years just to get flushed down the toilet so that's why we started milking the cows again was because we needed the income from the milk to help support the rest of the farm because the crops just are not bringing in enough to cover all the expenses economics 101 day one so Anyway, that's that's our life right now. So let's see, what have we talked about? We talked about the job, we talked about the goal. We need to talk about the cowboy boyfriend. <laughs> Clarin will kill me. So she met a little boy. Um, he's from the other side of the state. So we live on the eastern side and he lives on the western side and she met him at a FFA thing. And they really hit it off and he decided he was gonna come visit her. That's lovely. So he jumps in his little pickup and he, he first drives down to his grandma's house, which is an hour away. And then he drives three and a half hours over to our house. Okay, yeah, so he lives four and a half hours away, this kid. And um, so they hang out and they play, who knows what they did. I don't wanna know what they did, <laughs> I'm just kidding. And um, it gets time for him to go home and he hears, a, I don't know what, a rattly noise in his pickup and he, de he decides that a bearing is gonna go out. So then they run to town and they get one and they bring it home and it's the wrong size. So then he gets to stay the night on our couch. <laughs> and I'm not a good hostess. I'm not confident in my hostessing abilities. So I was feeling a little weird. I don't feel like I'm a good cook. 
I don't feel like the house is clean enough. Oh, it's a message from Mel. She said, oh, good. <laughs> She's nice. Um, it just popped up on the phone. Anyway, but he was lovely. He was polite. You know, he stood up and shook my hand when I came into the room and we chatted nicely. And I think John's got a little crush on him himself because John really seems to like him and Clarin really likes him. And she's making him a big package to send to him. And he was gonna try to come this weekend, but man, that's expensive and time consuming. And I'm wondering if the kids can just kind of meet in the middle of the state instead um, and just have their little date there. I don't know, but I don't feel confident in her taking her car. Whoops. So she'd have to take my van, so I'd be vanless, but I could use the Buick, it'd be fine. Anyway, so that's been good. Um, I don't know, a few little weird things here and there in my life, but planting grass. Every day Ella and I try to plant three feet of grass, because we're trying to go along the sidewalk. Oh, I should show you. I will show you. It'll be fun. Okay, I'll get off right now, because I've been talking for way too long, just because I can, I guess. Okay, see you guys in a minute. Here's my new grass coming up. Can you see it? It's so cute. There's a lot of weeds, but the weeds kind of shade it. I need to water all this today because I didn't water it yesterday. Anyway, so we've done all along here. There's my doggy. We've done all the way down to here. Even further. There's my Mother's Day plant. That doesn't look very good. Anyway, so all this needs to be watered and planted. But then we have to keep going and going and going and going all the way to the end. And then once we get down there, we're going to come around, do over there. And then I will probably jump from there over to that side, do all that. And then I need to start doing inside the beds. So there's, anyway, yeah, it's a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of mess. It's a mess, but that's okay. But we, every day we bring over a wheelbarrow full, Ella and I. So our goal is just to do like from this crack to that crack <laughs> every day. So this will be my Monday section because today's Sunday. Anyway, that's my plan, so I need to get some water on it. Okay, Barney says see you later. Bye, Barn.